When love is found and hope comes on, sing and be glad that two are one. When love explodes and fills the sky, praise God and share our Maker's joy. When love is torn and trust betrayed, pray strength to love till torments fade, till lovers keep no score of wrong, but here through pain, love's Easter song. Hi, everyone. Our scripture reading tonight comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. In the past, God spoke through the prophets to our ancestors in many times and many ways. In these final days, though, he spoke to us through a son. God made his son the heir of everything and created the world through him. The son is the light of God's glory and the imprint of God's being. He maintains everything with his powerful message. After he carried out the cleansing of people from their sins, he sat down at the right side of the highest majesty, and the sun became so much greater than the other messengers, such as angels, that he received a more important title than theirs. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm actually recording this message on Monday, but we are watching it together right now. I'm with you virtually. You see, I'm actually in Seattle where my daughter has had a small surgical procedure. So I'm here helping her out and I'm recording this now while I'm still in Austin. You know, as I'm about to leave Austin, I found myself feeling really grateful for this cell phone I know that this phone will enable me to talk with my husband and my son while I'm away. It will enable me to update them on how my daughter, their daughter, <laughs> and their sister is doing. It will also enable me to speak with all of you, my church people, and the staff of the church too. While I'm away, I will still be connected to all of you through text and email and phone calls, all on this one piece of technology one dev device with lots of ways of communicating. But the thing is, there's not a way for me to talk with God through this phone. 
Our passage tonight talks about how God used to speak to people through the prophets, but later God spoke to people through his son, Jesus. And you know what? God is still speaking, speak to, speaking to us through his son, Jesus, through the stories of Jesus in the Bible. That has never stopped. Well, there will be times over the next few weeks when I feel distanced from home, from my husband, my son, my dog, and from all of you. I will feel that distance, but I will still feel connected to God. I will still be in communication with God. I will still be close to God. What a relieving thought it is that when we're traveling and the circumstances are hard, we get to take God with us. Many blessings to all of you, and I will see you soon. Let's pray. Dear God, help us feel close to you no matter where we are, no matter where we travel, no matter what the circumstances are. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Send forth by God blessing, our truth and God blessing, a people of God from this dwelling take leave. The service is ended, oh now be extended, the fruits of our worship in all who believe. The seed of his teaching receptive souls reaching shall blossom in action be God and for all. God's grace did invite us and love shall unite us to work for God's kingdom and answer the call. With praise and thanksgiving to God ever living the task of our every day life we will face our faith ever sharing in love ever caring embracing God's children of each tribe and race with praise lifted us with Lord like Unite us as one in this life that we share. Then we all the living with praise and thanksgiving give honor to Christ and that name which we bear.